welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to practice looking at kinetics questions. Here is a rate equation. The rate equation shows you the concentration of reactant A and the concentration of reactant B. They've been raised to the powers of what we call orders. In this case, the order for A is 1 and the order for B is 2. These orders can only be calculated experimentally. To find the overall order for reaction, you add together the orders of all of the reactants. In this case, the overall order is 3. The rate equation represents the rate determining step. This is the slowest step in the reaction. Where you have the rate determining step and an overall reaction, you can work out what the reaction mechanism would be. In this case, the rate determining step happens when one molecule of A reacts with two molecules of B to make an intermediate X. From the overall reaction, we can see that we still have a molecule of A which has not been used. This molecule of A will react with the intermediate X to give the final product C. Using experimental data, you can calculate the rate equation. From this, you can calculate the rate constant K and the units. You can also write the equations for the mechanism. Here we have information about a reaction involving P and Q. If we double the concentration of Q, it has no effect on the rate so we say that this is zero order. If we double the concentration of P, this doubles the rate twice. This means that this will have an order two. When we write out the rate equation, we will have rate equals K, and then the concentration of P raised to the power two. The concentration of Q will not appear. Using one of the lines of data in the table, we can calculate rate constant K. I'm using the top line of data. If we use this line of information, then we can find that the rate constant k equals 1 times 10 to the 5. We can then use the rate equation itself to work out what the units of k should be. The units of rate are moles per litre per second. The units for p are moles per litre. However, we have this squared. We then need to have all of the units that are involved cancel out. We can cancel off one of the moles per litre on the left hand side with one of the ones on the right. The per second will transfer over to the k side as it is and we then have to invert the units that are left to be per mole litre. This gives units of k of per second per mole litre. We can write the mechanism by looking at the rate equation. The rate determining step involves two molecules of p to give an intermediate x. The fast step will then involve intermediate X and the remaining molecule of Q to give the product R. Pause the video now and try this question. Pause the video now and try this question.
Pause the video now and try this question. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Bye for now!